chapter 3, Mishnah 6. Once Meister Shani produce enters Jerusalem, it may not be redeemed for money, but must be eaten in Jerusalem. This Mishnah discusses what happens when produce from which Meister Shani was not yet separated is brought on to, into Jerusalem. Untithed produce that was fully processed, i.e. it reached the stage at which it becomes obligated Meisros, which passed through Jerusalem, and after it was taken out of the city, its Meisros, including Meister Shani, was separated. Its Meister Shani must be brought back and eaten in Jerusalem. Even though the Meister Shani had not yet been separated when the produce passed through Jerusalem, this Meister Shani is considered to have already been in Jerusalem. Accordingly, it may not be redeemed and must itself be eaten in Jerusalem. The next case is subject to dispute. However, regarding produce that was not yet processed, such as baskets of grapes headed for the wine press or baskets of figs headed for the dr drying area, which passed through Jerusalem were later tithed, the law is a matter of dispute. Beis Shammai say its Meister Shani must be returned and eaten in Jerusalem, just as with produce that passed through Jerusalem after it was processed. But Beis Hillel say it may be redeemed and eaten anywhere. Since when the produce was in Jerusalem, it was not even obligated in Meister Shani, it cannot be said that the Meister Shani was in Jerusalem. Therefore, it may be redeemed. The next Tana has a different version of the dispute between Beis Shammai and Beis Hillel. Rabbi, Sh Rabbi Shimon ben Yehuda says, in the name of Rabbi Yossi, Beis Shammai Beis Hillel did not disagree about produce that was not fully processed when it passed through Jerusalem. For all agree, in that case, that its Meister Shani may be redeemed and eaten anywhere. Rather, about what did they disagree? About produce that was about produce that was fully processed and then passed through Jerusalem. The Mishnah's first case. In that case, Beis Shammai say, its Meister Shani must be returned and eaten in Jerusalem because the Meister Shani is considered to have been in Jerusalem. And Beis Hillel say, the Meister Shani may be redeemed and eaten anywhere since the Meister Shani was not yet separated when the produce was in Jerusalem. The Meister Shani is not considered to have been in Jerusalem. All agree that the next case is an exception to the Mishnah's prohibition. Untithed produce of Demai, even if it is fully processed, may enter and leave Jerusalem, and the Meister Shani later taken from it may be redeemed outside Jerusalem. Since Demai is required to be tithed, only as there have been extringency, its laws are more lenient than those of ordinary produce, and it is not subject to the prohibition discussed here.